<sighs> I love the taste of horse piss. Hey guys, Pat Keebler here for Would You Spend a Day with Tim Allen. Why, Sabotan coming at you again with another CD collection update. It is currently 9.30 in the morning, so I'm kind of just getting my morning routine done here before I had to go to work. And I haven't, you know, started to film this video in, you know, a while, so that's why I'm doing it now, during the morning. So, I got about two CDs for you guys to do, uh, this week. Um, I tried to get more, but... All the stores that I went to, um, I either already had the CDs for them at this point, or they didn't have the CDs that I was looking for. I was looking for. So, uh, yeah, I tried. So I tried the uh, pre-played on uh, the east side of town, and it turns out they don't sell CDs, which is really weird. Or if they do, they sell it in a in like in the, like the way back or something like that. Either way, I didn't really find any CDs um, over there. Um, then I tried this, uh, so the CDs that I have for you guys this week are from a record, uh, record store downtown called, uh, Earwax, which I think is, like, re a really, really cool place. It's, like, a punk and metal shop. It has, like, a bunch of, like, different albums from, like, these punk and, like, these, like, metal bands. Like, there's so many different genres, or, like, sub-genres of, like, um, whatever. And they also have, like, a bunch of, like, cool, like, shirts and, like, I think a couple jackets and, like, a lot of, like, um, bracelets and, like, a few belts. And it is awesome. So, if you are ever in Madison and want to find, like, a really cool, like, belt or, like, a find, like, a really cool shirt or just want to go CD shopping, definitely check out Earwax. It is phenomenal. But, anyway, on to the CDs. Alright, so... Oh, by the way, these are both uh, Descendants albums, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail. So, first one, Everything Sucks, which I already have um, downloaded onto my phone. But, either way, I really, really like this album. I don't think this is the album uh, This is the album that had um, the song that originally got me hooked on, on the Descendants, because if... Um, let's see, what was the song? Oh, right, you know what? It was, uh, Pervert, actually, that was on, uh, Grand Theft Auto V that probably originally got me into the Descendants, which was really, re a really, really cool and, like, funny song, and I think that's off of, I believe, I Don't Want to Grow Up, but, which is really, really hard to find, because, um, well, it was either that or, like, the first two albums, which was My Logo's to College, and... Yeah, I think I don't want to grow up. And the guy at the store told me that I should try to find two things at once, which is their like first couple albums. Because uh, when they first uh, released their um, first couple of albums, they uh, only released either only released it on vinyl or they only ex um, exclusively did it on vinyl, but sold like a few CDs that are probably worth like forty or fifty bucks. But so I'm probably had to keep a lookout on that. Or otherwise, if you guys uh, know where I can get uh, those CDs, leave a comment down below. But yeah, this album, uh, let's see, about 15 songs. On, I think it's only about like maybe like a 30, 35 minute album, which is pretty, uh, which is you know typical of you know the sentence. They all have like you know like 15 song albums, and the and it'll only be like maybe like 30 minutes. So it's like well, with uh, the album that I already have, which was uh, Enjoy, yeah, that has like 16 songs, and it's only like 30-some minutes. And, yeah, so like all the songs are only like two or so minutes long, except for the uh, second to last one, Days of Love, that's like almost eight minutes. Which I think is really cool, like, I really love that song, it's like my second favorite song off of that album, which I did not mention in my first CD collection update, it's actually uh, Wendy. Which, ironically enough, was not written by the uh, by the Descendants. So, yeah, Everything Sucks. Really, really cool album. And what's really cool about this, if I can open it, is that there's this. And then, you open it up. Boom. And then, if I can... Ugh, it has this really cool design thing layout when you open it all four, uh, four ways. And then there's a lyric sheet on the back. Which... It's kind of 
which kind of is not the best if you really want to look at the um, songs um, that you're listening to or like want to figure out the lyrics. But anyway, enough of that. And next album, Hypercaffeum Spazinate, their most recent album that I believe came out in July of last year, because actually I think it only came out like a week or two after um, California did. Um, or something like that, around that area. I can't quite remember if uh, that will remind me. Um, he'll put it right here. But anyway, so yeah, this is their uh, most recent album. About, let's see, 16 songs. Yeah, pretty short album. It's only, like, um, I was driving to work uh, the other day, as and I was listening to this album. It probably only took me, or like, it's probably like a 10-15 minute ride there. And I think I probably got to song, I think I probably got to Limiter, which is like the 10th song off of this album. And yeah, it's only about 16 albums. So if I like got caught in traffic or something, I, I probably could have finished this whole album in like one ride. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, most recent, um, re recent album, their first album actually in 12 years, I believe, because, uh, they're recent album before this all that came out in 2004 and I and from what I can remember uh their singer Milo Ackerman he was he's also a biochemist or like bioengineer or something like that so he's like juggling that while also being the singer of this band so like for like between these those two albums this and all he was um like working on like different like research or something like that so that's why there's like that big of a gap between albums and that's also why there's also like a gap between a lot of their other albums because he was also juggling you know being the lead singer of this band and being like a biochemist and you know all of that bad stuff but whatever so those are the uh two albums that i have for you today sorry i don't have more I couldn't really find too much anyway so if you like the video make sure to leave a uh, give it a thumbs up if you have any CD or bands that I should listen to, any recommendations of that. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Once again, I'm Pat Keebler for Why Sadwita. Bye!